hi all welcome back to my channel my name is Aisha Mandisa and on this channel we talk everything arts related with a special focus on the business side of things and with that said I have something to share with you that I don't want you to ever do if you can avoid it on one hand I thought I was doing the responsible thing but it turned out to be a not so good thing on the other hand so let me backtrack a bit in March last year, when we here in Barbados were on definitely the lockdown, I decided to myself, you know, as a responsible citizen, I'm going to stay indoors as much as possible and protect myself and others and whatnot, which made sense. So what that meant is that I was only going to the supermarket. I went absolutely nowhere else, including the mic. So, I was still getting money from projects that I would have done. They were coming in cash. Every single one from March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Throughout that whole period, I did a few projects and all of them paid cash. So, I was happy about that. Still limiting my traveling, even when the curfew was lifted was hardly going to any places that will have a lot of people doing the responsible thing. However, in October, I decided, yes, I'm going to go forward and start my product-based business. And therefore, I would need all the materials and whatnot. And my family overseas were helping me with that process in terms of getting the stuff sent here, ordering the stuff and sending them here. So I would have needed to transfer money to them. To do that, I use Western Union. First time I went in was like the end of October and the lady told me that I was due to bring in my statements, my bank statements. I was like, okay, I don't know if that this was a thing because I haven't used it in so long. I was like, okay, cool, no problem. So I did that when I went to go back the next thing. This was in November. In October, I also started another job. So the first payment came the end of October and that was the only record of deposits that I had between March and October. And it was to be completely transparent, it was $400. So okay, cool. So myself, all right, we go to the bank, get my statements and know how much money I have on my account and in good standing as it relates to having money on my account. However, this is where the problem came. And I went in and I, you know, gave my statements to the lady. She was like, I see she's sifting through it. Like, okay, what's the problem? What she could possibly be looking for? The lady was like, um, I see, you know, the money is here. But based on these statements, the only deposit you had within the last three months was $400. And I was just like, oh, deposits. I was like, so explain because it's still lost as in i got money there you know, like i don't got money to send to transfer what it is that you're looking for so then she explained to me that what they do at that point because you know things may have changed up till now is that based on the last three months they tally up the deposits and then divide it by three and that would indicate how much money you're able to transfer so let me break it down a little more so say September deposit is $100, October another 100 and November another 100 that would make it $300. Then divide that by 3, $100. And then the conversion will make it, let's say, 50 US if you round up. And I just did like, where was I supposed to know this? I went on the sites, I went and checked terms and conditions. They tell you all about fraudulent stuff and if the money is not with drawn off of the um, transfer what they would do or whatever no way does it say that that is the process they take to ensure that you have enough money to transfer nowhere says that and I'm like I got it frustrated but it was not with her because it was like come to like so if I go now and deposit money on my account go back in the bank get a fresh statement and come back here would it be able to transfer more and she was like yes and like whoa where was I supposed, supposed to know this? Like, number one, I don't talk about these things, and there's nowhere to read up on it. 
and I don't like that because I'm a sad person I need to be prepared if this is your process I'm going to follow your process if I don't like your process I will go somewhere else I hate surprises really really hate surprises so that's what I'm sharing with you so if you are in business whether it be product or service based and these are things that you do in terms of having to transfer money please be mindful of this especially know that we are in quarantine and you want to limit movement like i did just make sure that you run the cash through the bank so they have it on the statement even if you take it off three days later just so that they know where the money is coming from in some way to help yourself because i was very very frustrated and I was like, okay. And then, after that, she was like, don't worry about it. What they do is that you're allowed two emergency transfers per year. So I was like, okay, well, it's November. The next month, I'm probably not going to need any product. So I will get that started so I don't have to use up emergency transfers for this year. So that's the other thing. If you, for whatever reason, need to transfer money quickly or for emergency, you're allowed to. I don't know what other special terms and conditions apply to that emergency transfer where you can swipe. But if I find out, I will let you know. But just know that it is best to at least run that money through the bank so they have it on the statements. That is, of course, if you use your statements to verify that you have money or that you're working or whatnot. Yeah, I wish somebody shared that with me. So I'm sharing it with you. And you can share this video with any others who use Western Union. Um, I will say specifically in Barbados because it may be different somewhere else. But yeah, just let you know, give you a heads up. Run that money through and you're allowed two emergency transfers. to where you can swipe and pay and go. Thank you very much for watching. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Don't make the same mistake that I did.